hello everyone and happy new year welcome back again to my channel i'm your girl solange today we're going to be giving you an update on the case of a prophet hot water prophet grace who poured hot water on her husband's side chick vanessa if you're interested do stick around and do hit that subscribe button and do watch to the end so guys straight into the matter of today now our gracious gracious prophetess grace is lamenting and crying and even vocally voicing it uh, publicly that's on social media too about how it really hurts her that her husband left her for another woman so here's a supposed message that has been going around on social media of her lamenting talking about she's trying to be strong but it still pains me so much that my husband left me because of another woman oh i'm so sorry to hear that my phone gallery is full of pictures of my husband how can i start a new life vanessa came in you came and destroyed my home my marriage only god would fight you not me my tears can't go in vain <laughs> i can relate sister i can tell you better about that been there done that <laughs> i really do feel her pain you know i really do feel how much pain she's in right now because it's obvious she loved her husband but <laughs> what i really see missing in this story is the fact that her focus is the side chick and not the real culprit which is the mistake a lot of we women make all the time we make vows to our fellow spouses or our husbands or husbands making vows to their wives and when the husband in this case happened to go out and have an affair we are focusing on the one he's having an affair with instead of focusing on the one we made a vow with which is where i think she is missing it and a lot of us women we make this mistake the real culprit here is not vanessa the side chick but our whole focus seems to be on vanessa and putting the blame on vanessa it's true she has a share of the blame but she is not the real person you need to blame mrs prophetess the real person you need to blame is your husband for breaking the vow he made to you and you seem to be you know, excusing him for his actions. You were just mourning because you're hurt, but you're excusing the fact that he made the, 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 the bigger decision because if not, if he didn't make the choice to cheat, there wouldn't have been any Vanessa anyway. So you need to hold him accountable. So stop pointing all of your bullets on Vanessa. She is part of the game, but she is not the main culprit here. Address your husband who broke your vow. And it's obvious he was gonna leave. The signs were already there. If Vanessa came to your house to attack or whatever the confrontation you all had at your home with Vanessa and she was making fun of you, making fun of your marriage in front of your husband, who is the main culprit here, and he says nothing, those were red flags. You just weren't paying attention. These red flags were obviously there. You were arrested and taken to jail and like you say you've been in jail he hasn't showed up all this time you're sleeping on the bed floor he hasn't showed up ever even once to check on you wearing those red flags to know this man probably is not in love with you anymore or he's he's already gone mentally it was just a matter of time for him to leave physically wearing were you not paying attention to these red flags oh many a times when a woman is in love we're so obsessed we don't pay attention to the red flags that are really screaming our names and because of that we end up being heartbroken so i think she missed the fact that she didn't pay attention to those red flags that were the red flags were obvious so woman it's time to dry your tears and move on because I personally have come to realize you can't make a man stay who wants to leave. And you can't make a man leave who wants to stay. I think we African women especially, we carry marriage on our head like the ultimate achievement. Reason why we give some of these men the audacity sometimes to mistreat us and have a face and do all this and think, oh, we're supposed to stay because we over emphasize on marriage. Marriage feels like it's the ultimate goal, it's the ultimate achievement. And if you you lose a husband or he leaves you or, or, or it doesn't work out or, or you're not married it feels like it's a crime no it's not a crime woman you just need to 
have some self-esteem in yourself, believe in yourself again. If he wants to leave, let him leave. You're going to find somebody who loves you well enough to stay. You just got to have enough self-esteem in yourself. Move on. Forget the pictures or delete them, whatever you need to do so you can heal and you can move on. I think you just need to get your life together and face you and stop facing him and crying. The milk is already spilled, woman. The milk is spilled. There's nothing you can do. Stop crying over spilled milk. I'm sure you know the law of karma. <laughs> what you sow is what you reap. I tell women, don't cry. If a man leaves you for another woman, so what? Let him leave. There's the law of karma. <laughs> whatever you sow, you're going to reap. Some of this may not always feel all that glitters is gold or the grass is greener on the other side of the fence until they actually go and try to eat on that grass and they realize how much it costs. Anytime grass is green, the water bill is equally high. Many times they can't afford this water bill and they run back. They start running back to their wives or their original partner. So chill, woman. You got to understand that that's life. There's the law of karma. Chill. If you're truly a good woman to him, relax. Relax. Kama is going to find him and Kama is going to find Vanessa. So chill. So guys, thank you so much. Let me know what your thoughts are on this story. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Have a good day.